Good afternoon, fellow patriots and defenders of democracy. Welcome to The Madness. We're here to talk about why I'm sweating like one of Jeffrey Epstein's buddies if he was allowed to take the stand. Irony is the reason why I wasn't allowed to take the stand. But in seriousness, let's talk about corporations. The reason why America still hasn't gotten a pay raise in about the last 40 years. Inflation. It's about 3 to 5% per year, so basically if you have a dollar this year, next year the dollar is really worth 97 cents on the low end. But in essence, to purchase something, you're going to need probably 103 cents because inflation. The automotive world is filled with people that's always going to tell you I have a color cousin, friend, uncle, buddy that could do your bill for smarter. Say, like, oh, you spent too much money on that part. You spent too much money on that stupid part and you could have used a stock one and it would have gotten the same notion. Ugh. Somewhere in there, someone's always lying and someone's undermining a lot of things, but we're going to talk about the notion of money, what money gets you, and basically the perception of parts value, and why corporations are bad. Now, to be honest, all corporations are not bad. At one point, a big corporation had a motto that says, do no evil. They deleted that. So, we can only assume that they're now doing evil. But, just like how revelations of new information comes forth, you have other people that would wonderfully walk out of the chat room as soon as certain new information shows up. Since the American government decided to tell us that UFOs are real, mysteriously, the church has left the chat. Since, you know, we now have some questions to ask. I.e. So, you gonna give us the, the books on these dudes? Like, who has the Book of Aliens? I'd like to read it. Somebody. Hooker brought up the Vatican. We've been friends for a long time. I know you're our own entity. Let's not try to kill me. I'm only jokey joking. Insert Yoda meme here. Or baby Yoda meme. Something. Moving right along. Now, let's reiterate this. Not all corporations are bad. Not all corporations are evil. Not all corporations underpay their people. Sometimes people enjoy voguing for their corporations, or they're exploited and they have non-compete clauses and other things that they're not talking about, so we're gonna have to smile and act like everything's good. And this is YouTube, so, hey, at ya. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, or hit the button for the algorithm, or whatever the hell Steph Bryan keeps talking about. Avocado toast, some shenanigans. Let's keep it moving. <laughs> We're talking about donut media. No, donut media is not bad. However, in the wonderful car realm, I've had many people say, why is it don't you edit like donut media? Get more energy, do more things. And I'd like to point out a couple of things. If you're a true automotive enthusiast and a person that likes cars and building cars and swapping engine, I would like to present to you my poor financial decision piss poor financial monitoring and decision making, here it is. And this is what I'm going to use to prefix my wonderful notion of high-low car parts and why you cannot compare a corporation to a personal person building a car. Before we get started on the wonderful comparison of high-low parts costs and the difference between watching a corporate titan sponsor a build and a normal person doing anything, let's point out a couple of things that most people don't know. This is the United States of America. Flag. Now, let's say 60% of the United States of America can't afford a $2,000 bill if it pops up on them during their regular month-to-month -month thing. This is not my information, I'm not making this up, this is merely bank information and you know who you should trust more than the banks? The devil. No one. However, for some reason the people who give us credit typically knows how much money we have. Hence, their credit system. That's a whole ball of yarn that I'm not going to play in because this isn't a cat video and I don't have the time. But, JP Morgan Chase, that 20 tons of cocaine that you got seized on one of your wonderful ships that's worth over a billion dollars, no one really went to jail for that and we are not certain what happened. But you know, let's venture down this wonderful world of equality. Back to corporations. Donut Media the weekly digital missing persons ad for James' continued search for his missing father. Hey, that's not a jab at you, buddy. I love you. I love you. However, it's a company started by Ben and Matthew that somehow in 2015 got $800,000 of additional money put into it because they are using analytics 
and using that to prosper and market to new car enthusiasts because you know it's a, it's a, it's a major corporation they got money we're doing that so as we're going to do that we're going to get into the notion of high low well this is the thing Everyone likes nickeling and diming building a car. Then everybody seems to forget all the little things that nickel and dimes and one plus one still equals two and all these numbers still total up. So, as they start this wonderful journey on building two 350Zs, we all get to realize that building a car is not cheap. And this is basically the crust of what's going on in regards to why you cannot com keep compare a corporation to an individual running a YouTube channel. Because unlike people who react to somebody sleeping with somebody or somebody's opinion or somebody's videos of another video, you kind of have to buy car parts. Unless you're big enough and car companies, part companies, whatever, decide that your algorithms or your analytics essentially warrants us giving you free shit. So, just like how you'd sit back and go, we bought $300 eBay coils or $2,500 eBay coils, not eBay coils, KW coils, you need to realize that, once again, 60% of the country cannot afford to shell out two grand on a goddamn coil over. That still doesn't involve wonderful installation, because as you can realize, a lot of these people that we watch and love and appreciate entertaining us don't know how to turn a wrench right or left. It's like, oh, this wrench isn't turning left, I need a left one. But that's still not a jab at anybody, I'm just talking shit, let's keep it moving. In the event you're looking at me and going, why is he sweating so much? It's 100 degrees outside. It's a wonderful entity. It would be great if a corporation owned this building and AC was in it. Sponsors. Either way, moving right along, after we got done with the coilovers, because who doesn't need to go low? Stance, bro. We wonderfully segue our way into the thing that we all like to ignore. Wheels and tires. Or the things most of us focus on, because bling bling. Hey, $1,000 versus $3,700. And I could go on with this forever as we sit back and add up the wonderful numbers, because just to keep in comparison here, I think low car got done for 13 grand, high car got done for $33,000. Now let's mash these numbers together. That's 50 grand. I'm rounding up. Don't message me about that. So, 50 grand. Now, this is 50 grand after tax. So, unless they got them for free and I have no idea how they got them for free, I don't know. I don't know. Couldn't tell you. Maybe they paid for it. Maybe they got it for free. Maybe it's sponsored content. Who knows? Macarena. Whatever. So, moving right along, we're going to sit back and go to something else. Whew. Jesus is hot. The remaining two high cost, high dollar items, which is relative because everything's high dollar depending on how much money you make, what percentile of the 100 percentile income brackets you are in America, and so on and so forth. But the turbo kit on the expensive side was like $8,100, and the other one was possibly about 45 or 35 How much was it? I think it was, I think it was 45 Let's say 35 Keep this moving. So, I would like to know how many of you could drop, and the $8,100, $8, you basically budget for 10 that's kind of the next thing that no one talks about in the midst of great editing, wonderful camera crew, and what have you. Imagine you being the person that just dropped $10,000 on a turbo kit. You still need to hire an uh, editing crew, filming crew, and you need to pay the, the hose that's talking. Sounds like a billion dollar organization that puts lasers on sharks' heads, right? Choo, 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 choo. Freaking lasers. I think the next high dollar thing was like the body kit. Or the, the wrap. It's either the body kit or the wrap. Either way, what I'd like you to take away from this is stop comparing corporate sponsored things to individuals. It's pretty much all there is to it. It's like a corporation moves different. It's kind of like watching any of these Hot Rod TV or 
some shit. Wait, uh, Motor Trend. Motor Trend. It's a big channel. Those guys aren't throwing their own money into doing that and racing cars. And this is like, I know we're all, we all know somebody and we're all the greatest of people and we're all wealthy and have access. But I don't know anybody that will go to a Ferrari Lamborghini dealership and they'll throw you the keys for you and they'll review your car because that's not the reality <laughs> of America. It's just like, hey, I'm rich. Look at me do rich people things. Corporate sponsoring or you've invested enough time to have like a social equity that will allow you to do such a thing. So, in essence, not all corporations are bad, not all people are evil, except for the people who can't account for the 20 tons of cocaine. Hello, JP Morgan Chase. Or the corporations that don't want to give people pay raises so that we can afford to do more car bills. Hello, corporate America. By the way, before anybody jumps in here and say anything to me about me bashing corporation, maximizing profits. That is the first rule and obligation of a corporation. See? You should be on my side. I'm not even telling you Black Lives Matter. But yeah, stop comparing corporate sponsored things or your favorite project manager YouTuber to an automotive YouTuber. If you're not doing the work and you have people that you're spacing out, having them do the work, then film it. You're project managing. There's, that's, that's a whole other video. And we'll get into that the next time. Remember, tell me I'm a jerk. Like, comment, subscribe. Welcome to the madness, where we actually will be doing work in the next video. Don't, don't judge me. Yo, have a good day. Let's hope you're in a cooler environment than me.